What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And a quick video for you guys, just kind of telling you all the updates of iOS 18 Developer Beta 3, which recently came out. And I did go ahead and install it on my device. And I'll show you guys, you know, um, if there's any changes to the user interface, which I can tell you guys right now, as a heads up, there's not. Um, most things are still pretty much the same when it comes down to it. I have it installed on my iPhone 12. And so, yeah. Things like RCS is not available. That's only available on iPhone 15s and iPhone 14s, along with carriers that have turned it on and enabled it for those devices. You'll be able to beta test RCS. Um, and a surprise shock of events, um, iOS 18 developer beta 3 has also um, released a little bit afterwards public beta iOS 18. So I'll get into that on how to install that if you have not installed iOS Developer Beta 3. If you have, I'll tell you what to do afterwards. But anyway, let's get into the user interface of this. So pretty much everything is the same. There's not any major changes at all whatsoever. Um, you know, you can still do the same, same thing with, um, you know, customizing the apps itself. Yeah, automatic, which is, you know, fairly, fairly uh, easy to understand that. And that's when, if you have that enabled, if you have dark mode on in your settings, then the dark apps will be there. If you have light mode, it'll be light light apps, light mode apps. Um, then, of course, you can force them, dark or light. And then you have the tinted, and that's pretty much it. Um, you can still move your apps anywhere that you want on your home screen, so that has not changed. Uh, you can customize it the way that you want to. It is what it is. And, um, yeah, as far as, like, you know, like those I have like an iPhone 12, uh, you will not have RCS messaging enabled for you just yet. You don't even have that toggled um, at all in uh, the messaging settings. So right where it says text messaging right there, you see it's only MMS messaging, show subject field, character count, and block contacts. And that's pretty much it. Um, so just to kind of explain things when it comes down to the public beta. So like I said, if you've already taken developer beta three, then it's not going to show up as an update for public beta. Developer beta three and public beta are pretty similar. Um, their release codes are the same. The only difference is, is that one is public beta for public people to test out iOS 18. The other one is developer beta. So uh, one thing that is pretty clear about beta software that people need to understand, because I know a lot of people would love to rush in and just get beta and think that it's like an early release for you guys to have full-fledged iOS 18. And that's not what it is. It is exactly what, what it says it is, beta. It's beta software. So you're going to have bugs and issues like that. My iPhone 12 is not my daily driver device, so I don't have to worry if there's like bugs or anything like that. I do use the feedback app to submit, you know, any bug reports or anything like that because I do my part in letting Apple know what needs to be fixed. So that's something that I really just kind of want to put out there for a lot of people because I know people tend to take Android beta software, iOS beta software. They just want to be ahead of the curve. Look, there is no grand prize if you have the iOS 18 before everybody else does. That's not how this works. So to see comments and people upset about bug issues and stuff like that, I mean, it's expected with beta software. This is why most people don't install beta software because they don't need their daily driver device being all messed up. However, so if you have not installed iOS developer beta three, do not do the software updates. If you want to get on public beta, literally just go into general and go on the software update. In case you're not familiar with iOS, this is how you do it. And you'll see on the screen where it literally says beta updates. Um, when you tap on that, you can turn it off, which will revert you back to iOS 17. Um, you'll see iOS 18 public beta. Make sure that's checkmarked before doing the updates. And then that way it switches you from developer beta to public beta, and you'll download and install that. Um, if you want to stay on developer beta, go ahead. You know, Just make sure that developer beta is the one that's checked. And then you'll get the update, uh, the beta updates for developer beta. Um, if you're someone who has like an app or anything like that, that you um, are working on when it comes to iOS in general, then that's pretty much um, what you would do. So yeah, uh, again, nothing major in changes when it comes to iOS 18. You're not going to really see a lot of that. The majority of the stuff like 
the Apple intelligence that's supposed to come later on in the year. Some of some aspects of it is going to come in 2025. Um, like the Siri 2.0 will be coming in 2025. So can't really demo that. But uh, when it does come to my iPhone 12, I'll demo that for everybody. Anyways, uh, that's a quick video update on iOS 18 developer beta 3 and public beta. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. Um, sorry, you know, kind of kind of out of it. Got a lot of things going on. I'm trying to find time to record video for you guys. Same time, take care of other things and also go live. Uh, so there's a lot happening um, this month. But nonetheless, if you guys uh, appreciate my content, smash that like button. That does let me know. Also share this on your social platform so other people can discover me and check out my video content. And hopefully it's to their liking. And if you want to get one month free of Helium Mobile, check the description. Uh, I do have a promo code that gets you your first month free for signing up with Helium Mobile. Go check that out. Until then, I'll talk to you on the next one. And as always, aloha.